Yo, let's talk about how crazy this OVOX plugin really is. But for real, let's really talk about how crazy this plugin is. Woo! All right, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me take this off for now. Hello, hello. So I just had to, had to, had to purchase the Waves OVOX Resynthesis plugin. And in my opinion, they should be charging way more for this thing. And why would I say that? That's so crazy. Oh, my God. Okay. So, first of all, it's a talk box. You can change your voice. Uh, it's got so many features. It's so much more than that. And um, let's give a little preview of what we can do here. Um, let me take this. I'm going to put an OVOX on the master channel right now. And... Let's just hold on a second. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. You s I'm playing my drum breaks. I don't know why my voice. Hold on. Hi, can you hear me? Okay, so I'm going to go through my uh, folder of drum breaks here while the OVOX is on the master channel and just hear some crazy things that it's going to do to these drums. experiments. Alright, let's hear that without the OVOX. And with it. Let's go through some other plug-in uh, presets. Chord comp, same sample. Let's try another sample. Let's hear that without it. So that's crazy. Let's take this off the master channel for a second. So are you already getting a glimpse of the possibilities of how crazy this is? Because I, I haven't even got into it yet. I have not even got into it yet. Whew. Wow, it's amazing. All right, so let's say, let's find a drum break. <laughs>
right, so what I'm going to do is record that, and how I'm going to do that is arm this track here, hit record, maybe go to a new pattern, even though I don't think I've done anything yet. Oh yeah, I did on pattern one, just in case, go to pattern two, probably not even necessary. And then let's hit song mode and just hit record. Second round of recording. Take the record off. Unarm this track. Let's take this off. with your voice, with samples, with keyboard melodies, and with drums. Amazing, amazing. So that alone is crazy. And then, um, what if they had MIDI out? And they do, and they just added MIDI out onto this thing. So, for those that are unsure what that means and how to find it, you click this synth thing you hit MIDI out to make it a work. And since I'm using FL Studio, I go here. I'm gonna set the MIDI port to, I don't know, three. And then I'm gonna open a, an instrument and set the input to three. Let's say, hmm. Let's try this electric piano, right? I hope this works. <laughs> Pretty sure it works like this. I did it before. All right, so now let's go back to this. Let's hit play and see what happens. Oh, let's, let's make sure it's armed on. Here it's triggering that electric keyboard that I just, oh my God. So we're gonna record that because that's amazing. And we're gonna record it just the way we did before, just get an audio clip. And we're gonna arm this track again. Hit record. So crazy, crazy, crazy. So I noticed in that audio recording, I'm still got drums in there, not just the audio of that keyboard. Um, and also since this is MIDI out, we wanna figure out how to record that MIDI out. And FL Studio, I think they just recently have a new feature to make this maybe easier. Um, but we have a workaround for that and I'm gonna show you what it is. So over here, Oh, actually, I don't think you see this, but I, I have downloaded the free program called Loop B MIDI. And basically, it's like a an invisible virtual MIDI cord in your computer that you can plug from one program to another or from one MIDI port, one virtual MIDI port to another. So um, let me go to my MIDI options. 
Now here I have loop B and I have it set to, I chose uh, port nine and I made sure this is not on, send master sync is not on. Um, the output for loop B MIDI is port nine and then the input for loop B MIDI is port nine over here. And yeah, you see that as well here where it says controller type port nine. Um, I just remember that that was part of the setup for this and I'm going to show you let's try again now just to let you guys know the OVOX synthesis it is like a synthesizer but you don't open it as a VST instrument you open it as an effect so if you've installed it and you're using Fruity Loops FL Studio and you're looking for it in your instruments uh, and you don't see it that's why um, so it is an effect and that's why we have it here on insert 3 we've been messing with this um, we have the MIDI out now we're gonna go back to the output MIDI port and we're gonna try putting this on 9 I think I'm doing this right so bear with me now we're gonna put Let's try, where's that electric piano? All right, we want this input port to be nine as well. I think, I, I hope I'm doing this right. And now we're gonna try to record. I'm not gonna arm the tracks for audio like I did before. And let's see what happens when I go to a new pattern. Hit record. I have mine set up for record everything instead of it always asking you what do you want to record. I just have it on everything and don't ask me again. I recommend that too as long as you know that you're sometimes recording automation if you turn a knob and stuff like that. Um, so let's go and see if the MIDI notes record just like this audio that we have already. In fact, I'm gonna mute this audio out of that keyboard that we just recorded. So if we hear it and we see some MIDI notes going, we're gonna know this works. All right, well, we heard it, but I don't see MIDI notes. Um, so we didn't do something exactly right. Let's make sure that the keyboard is highlighted here and let's try it one more time. All right, so, all right. Uh, Let's see. So, let's see. Ah, oh, see, this is why it's not working. The MIDI, wait, hold on a second. That's it. Let's get rid of this one on the master channel. This is just confusing me. All right, okay. Now, this one here. Uh, it is on. Why is it not working? Well, it is working. Why is it not recording? FL Studio. Um, <laughs> All right, what do I have? My ah, uh, it might be that I don't have the electric piano set to a channel. I don't think that would be it, but let's just try and let's try to open piano roll and hit record let's try arming this track again that we put the instrument on and uh, try recording that and if anything, like I said before, how I was getting drums with the keyboard sound, maybe that this time when I hit record, 
I won't get the MIDI yet that I'm trying to figure out, but I will get just the keyboard recorded audio by itself. Let's hear that. All right, now we're hearing it twice. Um, so I thought I figured out the MIDI thing when I had the demo of Obox earlier in the week, and then my demo ran out, and today I had to buy it. Had to buy it. It's on sale. Um, for seventy dollars, it's usually one fifty. I feel like it easily could be like two, three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, and then be on sale half off of that. Um, there is another coupon going on on Waves right now because of COVID nineteen and everything, but that's this is so new that it's not good for that. But since this is sixty nine dollars, if you buy that today, you can get if you spend at least fifty dollars at a time on Waves dot com right now, you'll get an additional free plugin that's $29 or less with the coupons. So I chose to get the DSer uh, on my old computer. I used to have a bunch of Waves plugins and I pretty much said to myself that I want the Waves L2 back. I want the DSer back for old sessions where I've used it on vocals. And um, maybe the L3 since they have like a uh, um, low latency versions nowadays. And then they came out with this Ovox, and I was trying to figure out ways to live without all those things, but then Ovox came around and blew minds. It's such a creative tool. I mean, you can use it to create melodies with your mouth and everything. I think that's what a lot of people are thinking of, but I don't know if they've thought about this way of using it, like getting different textures and different sounds out of a drum break, out of a sample. Um, it's crazy. So real quick, um, Let's mute this off. studio why didn't or damn me why didn't why did the loopy thing work not work what did I do wrong with recording the MIDI but we also I just also learned a new feature that you're gonna want to make sure you have one of the newer versions of FL studio and it is lifetime free upgrades if you ever paid for it before so go to imageline.com remember your old password and get that um, now let's see here Right, well, we got that audio by itself without the drums like I wanted before. Now let's do a test on, let's see, insert six. Now, there's a thing I think called like burn to MIDI. Um, and I want to know how to find it. Let's see. Let's say that I want to maybe... Hmm. Edit sample. Automate. Crossfade with. Detect a time warp sample. There's all kinds of stuff. Make unique as a sample. No. We want to burn to MIDI. Where is that option? Ah. Okay. So let's say we have this track selected. I'm going to hit shift. Hold on. Alright. 
Okay, I hit shift, so I have both of these highlighted. Now let's see what happens when I right click the top one and hit burn to MIDI. Um, sure, current pattern. The selected channel does not contain any notes to burn. Well, that's because I audio, um, you know, pasted them into the playlist. So, if I would have audio right here, then I would be able to burn it to MIDI. So, if I had, would this work? Let's hit pattern. I hate that. All right. Well, <laughs> let's see here. Um, Last test before I end this video. I'm going to take the O box off of this. O box is gone from everywhere. I'm going to go to a fresh new channel. Put O box on there. Let's see. Hmm hmm hmm. Let's figure this out. All right, we want the MIDI out on. Follow pitch, auto, on, on. Let's put it on. Let's put this mono. I don't know what these options are even doing yet. Let me turn the mic on in my voice. Yo, 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 yo. All right, now let's try MIDI out. Output port 9. Yo, 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 you? <laughs> Makes you do stupid stuff with your voice. Alright, let's try this on input port 9. Input port 9. Input some things we still have some things to learn ovox is crazy all right um i hope man de get the demo and just get the it's crazy i don't even want to post this video it's too much secret sauce but uh yeah thank you guys for watching my name is philae beat making mc if this video sparked some kind of creativity or anything then 
um, subscribe. I'll be posting more stuff like this. And uh, if, yeah, if you learned anything that helped in the process, give a like. If not, it's all good. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Um, and we are out of here. Peace, peace.